Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter Igaga. And tonight we have one of those shows that we advise against having children watching. So if you've got anybody who's below 21? 18. 18. 18. Well, they need to go to bed now because it's way past their bedtime. Now, as I always tell you, this is the one show in the land that talks about things that nobody else wants to talk about. But we have to talk about them. Don't forget, this is your show. We want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page, like it, engage in the discussions that are going on there, or you can follow us on Twitter. We're here for you. We need to talk. Now, we're here at the Naguru Skies Hotel, and tonight we are going to talk about men who take breast milk. Yes, breast milk. Uh, according to a recent documentary that was done by BBC, Ugandan men have become notorious because they are competing with babies for breast milk. Some milk, some men, not milk, say it is okay, and others think that it is off. So, we decided that we're just going to keep it in-house, and we're here with the men, and we're talking about breast milk. Now, Banji, you come from the land of milk and honey. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Yes, I mean he comes from the land of milk and honey. He knows a thing or two about he milk. He knows a thing or two about milk. Breast milk. <laughs> now, I, I, I'll tell you what. Ever Scap since is that, full of breast milk. Yeah. No, I, I don't milk. know if that is breast milk, but I'd like milk. to assume that it's, it's it's milk from a cow. Yes, this, this is cow dairy milk. milk. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, when I first watched that clip, I was disturbed because at first I was like, "This is madness," but then what shocked me is that this is happening here in Uganda. These are Ugandan men who are even testifying and saying that it's okay for a man to drink breast milk. Now, if we may speak biology, a mother starts lactating to feed a child. We know some people say that a man is the firstborn in the home, but it's actually meant to be for her biological child. Now, why on earth would a man find comfort in taking that milk. <laughs> you know, you look like a victim. Huh? No, 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 no. He, he's, he's, he's a behavioral scientist. No, no, but, but, but his skin, his skin texture <laughs> might, might, might suggest let that. out a few secrets. <laughs> that, no, uh, you know, you said we start from biology. Mm. Uh, biologically speaking, a mother's milk yeah. is rich. It's a rich food. So mm -hmm. if... Uh, if it was possible that mothers would have this milk without having young ones, yeah. probably it would be okay for, for maybe the their husbands to mm. consume it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So again, sticking within biology, the risk that is there is that when the, the, the father is competing with the child for the milk, then there will be uh, um, the supply, food supply for the child will be limited because the mother, what, what she produces is enough, is sufficient for, for a child. So when the father comes in, then it becomes a, a big problem. But if we then look at it from a behavior uh, perspective, then it becomes tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know uh, most of the men who are consuming this milk may not be willing to come on national TV and say, <laughs> That well, sometimes I, I pull my daughter off the breast and then and, and I enjoy. My turn. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and for a culture, a, a society like ours here, people look at it as a taboo. Yeah. Openly, it's a taboo. But quietly, you know, it's happening. It's, yeah. it's happening. When that documentary was aired, I was one of the people who said, no, no way, this can't happen. <laughs> and then I made some few inquiries and I was shocked. Yeah. Men are thriving. <laughs> actually, actually, men just count the clock when they are, when they are women are we'll be expecting. Done, yeah. When will they release the next, you know, um, the next liters of milk for them to consume? So it's it's a big problem. It is disturbing. Yeah. It's disturbing to us social scientists. We are just beginning to wrap our heads around it. Yeah, find it's, out what it's, is up. It's a very difficult situation, really. Stefan, mm. in my books, that can actually be termed as sorcery, okay, because it just doesn't make sense. You, before we went on air, you said that you have a different perspective about this. 
I would like to hear it. You know, uh, the first time I saw the clip, uh, I was actually disturbed. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, oh, this cannot, you know, like you said, you know, it can't happen. Yeah. But you know, when you look at it, uh, each environment has its own rules of engagement. Mm -hmm. Ugandan men love drinking milk. Okay. And you know, <laughs> dairy, <laughs> dairy, dairy milk. <laughs> <laughs> so I was having a conversation with uh, you know a couple of friends, and uh, actually discovered that you know so men actually drink breast milk, and you know the the argument steered in uh, this direction. You know what happens uh, in a confinement of in the confinement of a bedroom mm -hmm. stays there. You know we like I said before. Every society has its own rules of engagement. What we see as a taboo here yeah. may not be a taboo in another environment. So if, it, if it's accepted, then yeah. it's, uh, it's fine. But it's not accepted. That's why it's being done I think, in secret. I think it's yeah. accepted silently. Men, and you know, like you say, you know, can look at Bungie's skin and you can and actually he looks tell. Like a, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> <I'm straight>. <laughs> 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 to help. <laughs> He's getting additional <laughs> vitamin. Uh, uh, Chris, you know, uh, help me understand <laughs> this. No, you know, <laughs> I, when, when I was growing up, there was a joke that was told about um, a guy who, um, you know, had a conversation with his baby and, and he said to the baby, you know, this left side breast is yours, mm -hmm. the one on the right is mine. I should never find you on mine. Cross, crossing the fence. Okay. <laughs> so one day the guy comes back from work and he finds the baby on the Busy. left hand side <laughs> breast. And he starts beating up the kids. Can I go to Kubele Yang? Can I go to Kubele Yang? And you know, we used to laugh a lot about that. <laughs> like this is a story that happened. Yeah. As in fact. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's now folklore, but fact, by the time I had it when I was a young, a young kid. And, and I, you know, now that I think about it, I'm putting two and two together. This man, because yeah. I was wondering, why would you beat a child up, mm -hmm. your own child, for breastfeeding on one of the breasts? So the guy wants to keep one of the breasts oh, yeah. full, yeah. so that when it's time, he can harvest. Okay, yeah. and, and, and I'm just thinking this thing has been around for yeah. a long time. And yeah. you know, the as mere I, fact that it's a folk, yeah. you know, a folk tale. For, for, yeah. for as long as when I was younger. Uh, so I don't think it's very new, number one. Number two is, I'm thinking, you know, in, in, in the Bible, Song of Songs, uh, Solomon talks about uh, men and he says, you know, actually in Proverbs. He, he asks, why, why do you spread your waters everywhere? Why, why don't you have, you know, the breasts of your wife satisfy you? So, I'd be wondering, mm -hmm. do these men take it literally that <laughs> satisfaction <laughs> is supposed to be of the tummy or of pleasures? Nutritional. Yeah, be, yeah because I... I uh, the truth is that it's very confusing for me as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I, I, I did check around, um, and, and, and even with some Christian men, yeah. it's some of them are taking breast milk. And I'm not joking. But, but is, it a, is it a fetish, you know, as in a, a sexual <laughs> I think, and, and that's thing? Why, and that's why I say that uh, whatever happens in the confinements of someone's bedroom should be their own business. The only issue... The only, I think, the only contention here is uh, when you're, you're competing with a baby for the breast milk. Because I'll tell you... What happens in, when they're in, twins? No. <laughs> when the lady has twins, there's enough But, but if, if, if this woman can... Say, yeah. I love this topic. Apparently, brother. she'd have this up for her third <laughs> bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you know, no, like, no, you know, the I, same... I think the human body can provide enough. And but you know, they say that the, the more... Uh, he, uh, the, the baby the breast suckle, yeah, the, the, the more, more milk, milk the, the more milk yeah. you know uh, the woman produces and like I said uh, I said earlier on you know there's there are some cultures there are some societies environments where you know uh, public display of affection is not allowed and you know yeah. and, and there are some places where it is allowed the same thing with breast milk if Ugandan let me insist if Ugandan men love breastfeeding 
<laughs> it's fine. Mike, but, but guys, I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, yeah, but you see, my only query is, if you cannot do it in public, then there's a problem. No, no, but Peter, you I know, know, you know how funny it sounds, <laughs> even for a five-year-old, says, Mama, Mama, get in the cabin. <laughs> and then the mom says, you go first sweep the compound, and then when you're on. done, you come. <laughs> They sweep quickly and then they come, Mom, I'm ready. And then you start serving the kids. It feels like, oh, yeah, 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 a, a five year old. Yeah. Now imagine Peter, the whole you, <laughs> coming back home and saying, Mom, also me. Well, I don't and think and you're called... served in public. Like, the guys who do it definitely but, but, are but, doing but, it. In but, but who comes yeah. up with these rules that, you know, man shall not breastfeed? I'll tell you what, I think it's a universal rule where <laughs> I'm, I'm being biological mm -hmm. here. That's why you'll never see a boon. Going to, 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 you know, <laughs> it can't happen. But, can't but, happen. but Peter, I, I don't, I don't know how far to go with, with just pushing back with you because no, there are certain things you back. and <laughs> Stefan and, and, and others have said about stuff your mouth do that they're not supposed to do. Me? Right? I am, so, I am, I am the only one I think. In the same respect, these guys are using their mouths to do stuff they're not supposed to do and both of you are surviving. I, it's actually okay. healthier. <laughs> now, now, the, the, when the we talk about it. culture, culture is, a, is kind of a social construction. Culture is a product of the individual members of society coming together, practicing certain things, and then accepting. And agreeing. And agreeing. Yes. Sometimes yeah. latently, without even saying I agree. Implicably. Yeah. Okay? Mm. So, like, for example, today? Yes. There are some people who are going to go and have the debate with Madame. Do we try? <laughs> oh, <laughs> do we <not> try? <laughs> and that's the problem. Because yes. every time you hear about something, you you're like, wait a minute. Yes. And, and that's the problem. Yes, yes. So, you, 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 you find that in, uh, and the beauty, like with Uganda, even if we say we are one country, we are different tribal groupings. Yeah. So you, you, you may find, and, and in addition to being tribal groupings, you know, this is something which happens in privacy of people's homes, people's probably bedrooms or stuff like that. So even when it is happening, it, maybe if you know that your neighbor does it, it's just a rumor, you don't have evidence, <laughs> and you can't come and say, hey man, Stop sharing. You're, you're gaining weight. <laughs> you're gaining weight. Stop sharing breast milk with, with, with your children. Yeah. And, and, and again, it, it plays again backwards into issues we have discussed on this, on this show. Do the women, are the women active participants of this? That's exactly Okay. Right. Or are they forced into submission to allow the men to share? Yeah. yeah, because so, I'm, it's so an important in other words, question. Yeah. So, so in other words, we are saying maybe the women are actually encouraging the men to do it for their own satisfaction. So they're the ones who are getting satisfaction because the man will not bite like the baby will bite the nipple. Look, and, and Chris, no, no, no. Because Chris, before you come in, you see the breast, and again we say this show is for 18 and over. Yes, over the, 18. Over 18. Yeah. The breast is a very important instrument, sexual instrument. Yes, it's very sensitive. It's that one, if there is a man out there who doesn't know how to use it, you better go to class for it. It's a very important sexual instrument. But you know, when... But when the milk, <laughs> now this, this one I'm saying bad, because I'm coming from a community where actually I heard, I heard about it for the first time from BBC. <laughs> With all these years that I have, so uh, because I come from a community where it's uh, it's, it's never heard of, yeah. I, I really still find trouble understanding mm -hmm. how a man would say, "Now the left breast is mine, My, the yeah, right yeah, is for you, young, 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 the, the child." So yeah. it becomes a very tricky, a, a very tricky situation. So we may need also to uh, to interrogate and ask. If it's been happening in families, it has been happening. Does it have an impact on the children? Yeah. The children who are breastfeeding, mm -hmm. because these are important questions for both the doctors, but also for us, social scientists, for the men of God. Mm -hmm. we, we need to interrogate this question publicly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, food for thought, um, and I think this goes out to, to all of us. I mean, we we are looking at the men, all right, and we are saying, all right. I mean, that is not heard of and all that. But we've also come to an agreement that this thing has been happening. It's mm -hmm. age old. Mm -hmm. Could 
there be an element of the women enjoying it, just the fact that, yeah, you mentioned, I mean, breasts are very sensitive areas, that women get sexual pleasure. But you know, we'll uh, talk about that uh, once we come uh, back uh, from the break. Uh, now, we're here at Naguru Skies Hotel talking about men who breastfeed. Not that I'm judging you, but if your man breastfeeds, you'll want to watch the next part of this show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in a few. Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined us, we are here at the Naguru Skies Hotel talking about men who breastfeed. Now, Stefan, I'm getting to you. Banji, over the break, you... <laughs> <laughs> you talked about women who lose sensitivity in their nipples when they have they've given birth, right? Yeah, because as 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 part of you know to be able to, to, to tell the audience, mm -hmm. I, I inquired around some mm -hmm. few women yeah. who are already mothers, mm -hmm. one child, two children, three or four, mm -hmm. and all of them agreed that. With time, as you breastfeed, the, the, the nipples, mm -hmm. they lose the, the sensitivity. Numb, yeah. Yeah. Okay? And therefore, the man has to use a different technique if he is to use it as <laughs> a sexual organ. Mm -hmm. okay? He probably will move from um, sucking the breast to maybe something else, maybe yeah. simple biting or stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so, so it, it, shows you, it shows you that uh, there is a problem there now. Mm -hmm. So the question we are trying, I'm trying to ask myself is that when the man is breastfeeding, is there an effort by the woman to stop him? Because, again, Stefan alluded to it in the break, that this clip, which was on BBC, mm -hmm. the woman reported as fighting with the husband, yeah. trying to stop the husband. And so fighting can be so in quotes. Relative. Right? No, no, yeah, no, relative. But, but, but guys, I, I, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm married. Uh, tell us. We've got two kids. Uh -huh. And I've also talked to other moms who have been breastfeeding. One of the things that happens is at a certain stage in the breastfeeding cycle, as the kids are, you know, either teething or something, they, they really bite the nipples. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes they even damage them and their little wounds yeah, yeah. on the nipples. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I'm imagining a scenario like that. When there is there are wounds and things, and then you come, mm, I want milk. I mean, you're <laughs> causing more pain and misery. Yeah. I, I, that, that's one difficulty I have. Second difficulty, second difficulty, is, is, um, is how, how one can really go for that milk even when you know that sometimes the child is exclusively breastfeeding. breastfeeding yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, so you, you, this is the only meal the child has, mm. but you want, you want some of it. it. Third difficulty I have is most women by nature, even when a child, well, as soon as they realize they con they've conceived by nature, they start, they start preparing for that child. And there is a stage in the pregnancy which is called nesting. They start preparing the place for the child that's coming. They prepare maybe a room, start buying clothes, mm. and, and they focus all their energies to the survival of this new infant mm. that's coming. Mm. So breastfeeding by its very nature is the meal a mother gives to an infant. And by nature should be if they are normal, yeah. should be protecting and safeguarding the child. only for the child. But who's her first mom? Right? So, 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 it's not you, Peter. Okay? <laughs> Women so, see so, all so, the time on TV. No, no, man no, is the no, no. I, it's actually, it's actually derogatory in a way. Because if, they, if you're called the firstborn, you're not <coughs> pulling your pants up, really. Okay? So, so, so. So mm. I, I'm, I'm really, I, I, I really struggle with the whole dynamic of, unless, unless, like Banji is saying, 
some guys are so good at breastfeeding that they make the lady feel much better than when it's the child. <laughs> That's something we need to investigate. Uh, uh, Peter, what, what I'm really struggling to understand is, uh, as guys, we, uh, you know, we all have children. And uh, I imagine, like, uh, I'm, 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 putting myself, I'm, pu I'm putting myself in this guy's shoe. When the woman gets pregnant and, you, and you're seeing the stomach developing, you psychologically switch off. You, you stop looking at, as, uh, at the breast as breast, and you look at it as mammary glands, you know. This, this is... <laughs> moving flasks. <laughs> moving flasks. So I don't, I don't get it when... And, and that's the, pro, the same problem I have with people who have problems with, uh, with uh, women breastfeeding in, in public. Like, how do you view this, look at this woman as a sexual... Uh, as a sexual uh, being well, while she's breastfeeding. Right, but can, yeah. I, can I ask you one question along those lines? All right. So, these breasts have milk in them, all right? They are mammary glands. Same breasts don't have milk in them. Same size, because there are some big busted women. They are attractive. What? She's breastfeeding. Basic biology. There's a difference. If a lady is breastfeeding, the breasts gorge because of milk. That gorging is not your gorging. Okay. Then when, okay. The child, Those are two, two. When, the, when the child, and, and I'll tell you one thing, I, I did a, a, a bit of research about this. And one of the things that came out that some of the men and how they get into it, two ways. First of all, it's something that they saw, this thing of breastfeeding children until they're, they're five, six. They saw their, their fathers doing the same thing. Okay. So what? And they started competing Peter, with their saw. fathers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So they started competing with their fathers at an early age. Because already... For milk. Yes. And psychologically, you in that space saying, when I grow up, it this will, be, will mine. be mine. Okay. Then of course you have a break. So finally you get a <laughs> wife Peter, and you get... I am just men? saying, this is research. Number two. Please quote that study. <laughs> 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 I asked around, and unfortunately, I can't name oh, like, I can't sources. Name the, 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 my, my, my sources. Number two. Mm -hmm. Now, after a, a, a man's wife or spouse has just um, uh, has, has delivered, and then the baby is weaned off of mm. milk, then they get sexually active again, especially where the the breasts are concerned. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a very thin line because there's confusion. The breasts, if they are they're, 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 they're suckled or whatever, they say, oh, the baby's back. They, now, because the baby has been weaned off, you can't bring it back and say, oh, you know what, continue. But the lady needs to get this milk out because it becomes very uncomfortable. So it's now, she says, relieve me. Yes, and she actually enjoys the sensation. There's one man who said that she enjoys it that she enjoys the sensation when the milk is coming out. So, so he's helping. He's so, Pete, let us, oh, oh. let us assume, for purposes of this discussion. <laughs> but that, that sounded like a very, a very... Uh, it, no, full color personal research. Personal yes, research. Personal research. <laughs> it just and, might and, be... And, <laughs> and, 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 and that's why... And Peter's <laughs> friend is Peter himself. And, and that's, that's why I'm saying... Talking in front and that's why I'm saying, <laughs> let us assume, for purposes yeah. of, of, of this discussion, that there are women who enjoy it and it feeds back in what i said so if 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 your madam requests for it and you know that almost all feeding by the way is addictive that's why for instance people from central uganda if you prepare food without matoki they say there was no food okay. people from the west they like their milk okay Which and they are color Mm. <laughs> oh, they are <laughs> milk. And they are callow. You find that people from a different region, because food becomes addictive. Mm -hmm. So if, if you are relieving this lady mm -hmm. of this, b b because the way, the way the mammary glands are designed is that when the, the baby is weaned of, of, of stops breastfeeding, automatically the system will begin shutting down. Okay, so instead of you relieving her in so that which might make you addicted, why don't you support her? Okay, to shut down, to the, shut system down the system so that you eat. Okay, you can now, yes, now you can go now back to, uh, to, usual. Uh, to normal business <laughs> because I, I really find it repulsive <laughs> and sorry for the men who enjoy this stuff out there. 
I really find it repulsive even when the baby is no longer breastfeeding and now you are the one enjoying. Some, you know, some say, men may tell you you don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Here, <laughs> yeah, emphasize the point that you know, when your woman is pregnant, you cycle. There are certain parts of her body which become off limits. Yeah. They are for the child. Psychologically, you know that you, you begin designing other measures of achieving your own gratification. So, I would think that whereas this has been around for a long time, the reason why it has not been very public is because it is considered abnormal. I, I would think that's why mm -hmm. we are really struggling to wrap our heads around it. And that's why it's not among the other popular cultures that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. That's why it has been growing underground. But, but and, 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 and in fact, a survey conducted in the US, uh, most, most of the people interviewed said for them it is more of a fetish? Yes, more of a fetish, mm -hmm. rather than psychological satisfaction. It's more of... When you talk about fetishes, I'll, I'll ask a question and I throw it to all of us here. Now, what is the difference between a man who sucks milk from his wife's breast and one who, is, you've talked about those fetishes, and no, no pun intended, but especially um, the, the Caucasians, mm. they're known for such things. A man who dresses up like in, 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 a, in, a, in, in a, a pair of diapers and has his milk bottle and plays, and role plays as a baby. Isn't it the same thing? Only that this one is role playing with the actual thing. Now, the, the, the difference between uh, what you're saying and what is happening is that in this scenario, there is a baby who is involved, you know. But you know, I, I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm not pointing fingers. If this has been happening for the longest time and, you know, uh, people have been living like this in some cultures, well and good. You know, we, we, we are here, you know, uh, saying that it is wrong, but if, ah, if, if, it, wrong. if it has it's happened, just, it's if it, it has been happening for the longest time, and you know, uh, uh, pastor here, uh, if, because my name is Chris. <laughs> Chris, Chris, even like, has... Like I don't say DJ here. <laughs> <laughs> You know, has folk tales about, uh, you know, about uh, men, uh, men competing with, uh, with their children. So I, I feel to a certain extent that if this thing has been happening and, you know, it, it, has, it has worked in this, yes. this community, it's well and good. You know, you know, Chris, before you come in, I would really want to pose a question. You, your child is born. Let us assume your child has reached an eating age, eat, eating beyond milk, mother's milk and they have prepared a, a, a plate of rice it's, and it's the only one in the house. I can't imagine where the father is saying now, let me take half of it. You, you well, you can be half satisfied, you my son, you can be half satisfied. I think the, the, the paternal instincts would be that your child be satisfied and then you eat later. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Sometimes, I, 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 uh, sometimes, traditional African society, eh, that does unfortunately, not they gave me the many men the who, head of the fish uh, for the longest time, mm. and I never understood. You know, they always gave me the head of fish, and I hated the. I, there was no meat. There was an eye looking at me, and I never. And and, the, and my mom used to tell me it's because you are a man. <laughs> you know, for the longest time, I was like, why is it that my dad is given like the whole chicken, I'm given the head, which doesn't have me. So your, your, your argument is doesn't also, no, no, no. it doesn't hold any so when, you, when you stop to, to think about it, uh, men are not necessarily known to be shy, them, yeah. to be shy for taking. <laughs> men men are, are, are really good receivers yeah. and women are very good givers. Mm -hmm. So so that's why you know men wouldn't mind being given every every if pack there is milk, okay? if it's available. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it, it works in the guy's head. Uh, but having said that, I think that we we there is a bit of a challenge. There's a bit of a challenge when you think about, when you honestly think about a guy competing with their child for milk. It's, it's almost like, do you want the next generation to, to thrive? There is this zero, the, the scientists will tell you there is this uh, zero to two window, where if a child does not get the best nutrition between <coughs> when they are born and when they are two years, their brain doesn't develop well enough yeah, yeah. 
And so, no matter what you feed them after that, they will not do well in school. Sure. They will be you basically yeah. daft yeah. for all their life. Mm. Now, imagine as a man, I, I really want to appeal to you. Just think about it. Do you really want to have daft offspring? Because if you attack that breast, <laughs> that's really what you're doing. And, 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 and more so, more so because scientists again have, have showed us, have shown us that the best thing, the best practice is for a child to exclusively breastfeed between zero and at least six months. Minimum. What, what if the milk Mini. is in plenty? Yeah. Mini. Exactly. So well. if it's in plenty, <laughs> it has to be in plenty <laughs> for the child. We, we do the, need to get for the husband. We are here at the Hotel <laughs> talking about men who breastfeed. Is it something that we need to discourage or can we say it's your business? Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. We are here at the Naguru Skies Hotel talking about men who breastfeed. Are you a man who breastfeeds? Well, let's have a chat about it on Twitter. You, all our handles are right down there. We would like to hear from you or you can hit us up on Facebook. Our page is NTV Men. Now, gentlemen, I know this is a... But Peter... Is neither here. I need to ask one question. Yes. And I, we started talking about it during the break. How many children have you heard of are, mal, are, are suffering from malnourishment because their fathers drank all the milk. Have you ever heard of women who say and keep complaining? That's how they say it in Luganda. I don't As know. in like the milk is not flowing mm -hmm. anymore. Yes. Now, it's, it's true that some women don't have a, 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 as good a flow of Natural breast milk. milk. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, even the little you peter you come and grab it because you say it doesn't run out <laughs> no but ideally breast milk can run out my so, so, um isn't it supposed to run out when as part of the weaning process no a, a lady who's breastfeeding how don't you people have sisters or wives or something a lady who's breastfeeding can at some point not have enough yeah, milk yeah, flowing. Yeah, yeah. True, but that's True, due right? to other factors, maybe sickness what or something other factors? Like So now yeah. you are adding, you're adding yourself to another factor. I mean, how many factors are we <laughs> going to be dealing with when yes. we are dealing you with? Know, you know, in, in fact, mm -hmm. Peter, if you realize, I think was it the Minister of Health, an official from the Minister of Health, really came out in the strongest terms possible it's against this case. practice of men um, breastfeeding. breastfeeding. Because really one of the greatest challenges in, 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 in health is malnutrition mm -hmm. especially for under two infant malnutrition yeah. and and as chris has rightly put it uh, the first two years are actually very very important they set the course mm -hmm. because now for even if you feed on eggs and milk for the rest of your life you will remain you but the first the first two years mm -hmm. especially the first six months that's why they say that a newborn should only feed on the mother's milk yeah. for the first six months. Now, depending on how much you have and the appetite that the child has, then you can introduce supplementary feeding. So now, just imagine, and, and you say God. God is, God is one of the, today I will, I will use God. God is one of the greatest science. He created a woman and he said, these two uh, breasts that you have, they can be able to feed a baby up to this point. Okay? And that's why they tell you that beyond two years, actually, the breast milk is low on nutrients. That's why they, they say at that stage you can introduce as many foodstuffs as possible. So now I'm imagining an adult man of my age returning home in the evening, probably. And, and you see, for us, we are sitting here. We ate lunch. Home. Because yes. you've been thinking about it all. Yes, <laughs> maybe we ate lunch and we have taken something this and evening. And, and, and that's why we are it? taking something. Now, this man probably. His job doesn't provide much. The guy is hungry. He didn't eat lunch and he returns home. <laughs> and you know, maybe the baby is sleeping and the milk is flowing. How much will this guy take? You, you know, I, I cannot rub my head they around. They will just empty it in they one sack. It. <laughs> one these sack are, these are the children, these these are the children that the doctors are struggling with due to malnutrition. Yeah. And we don't know. So I think the doctors now have to add another question when they get a malnourished child. 
does your husband also partake? No. But, you, you know, but, but our era, a, our era, a, guys, I know you're going to speak, <laughs> Stefan, but <laughs> our era today your, your men, your has been not getting a suckling man here. <laughs> As I, 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 <laughs> what? No, no, that's no, our okay, era. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. because we, we probably have not represented these men well. Because yeah. I, I, I'm still trying to think what would make an adult man Can't A, start I, breastfeeding, I told you why, B, maintain breastfeeding, C, fight a child, <laughs> your own offspring, off the breast milk so that you enjoy the breast milk. My question is, what is in that process that all of us may be missing that this mm -hmm. guy can get? I, I am wondering. Could it be I, a bringing? I, 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 still, I still cannot wrap my head around, you know, a full-grown man. You know, With beards like Six you. foot <laughs> something guy, <laughs> Zalu. He comes and, you know, he's lying down on the cheeks, you know. Bosom. Uh, Bosom and he's trying to, it's, it's you know, like, and, and I want to answer you, you know, there are cultures and I've, and it's it's a pity that you know some people, some 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 uh, tribes have uh, have refused adamantly to let go some of these stupid cultures, mm -hmm. and, and uh, there is a reason there is a reason why the doctor will insist that uh, the child should be on breast milk, mm -hmm. you know nutrition you know like he, he talked about you know uh, brain formation and whatnot, some of these cultures are stupid and they need. People need to hear from did, from men that. Uh, did you say you're, you're not going to judge anybody? No, no, you know, judge, like, yeah. I, I, no, it is not, just I, apparently it's not judging; it's just giving it the right name. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's stupid. It's really stupid, like honestly. <laughs> no, I'll tell you so, what. Um, to me, I, I find it more of disturbing. Um, but however, if this was an isolated case, as in one person was doing it, would say, "Chief, you've got a problem." Okay. But clearly, it's not an isolated case. These are things that are happening, only that people are shy to talk about it. So, Peter, do you know what yeah. I heard about it? Mm -hmm. um, I heard that for some men, they feel that it gives them better health. Yeah. And uh, they need to come ahead of the child because they are the breadwinners. If they get the best quality feeding, yeah. Yeah. then they go out there and they bring in all the money that everyone needs, including the baby. And, and so and that the baby can feed while they are away, mm -hmm. but when they are back, they need the best feeding and any that's available from the plate, from the breast, uh, and all Peter, and, and, and Peter, it boils yeah. down. It, it boils down to culture. There's a very famous president in Africa who once said that you know if you if you bathe, if you bathe, mm -hmm. you get rid of uh, a former HIV. president. Hey, a, yeah. a president. He's a former okay. president. Yeah, a but, former president. Uh, yeah. HIV. Yeah. It comes down to some of these stupid cultures. There are people who have refused to let go some of these cultures. For example, in my tribe, if, if a woman dies a virgin, apparently uh, a man has to be employed somewhere and they have to sleep with a, you know, sleep mm. with a corpse. And people still practice some of these things up to today. It, yeah. it all boils down to uh, people. You know, we're in the 21st century. You know that breast milk <coughs> is very that, important. That thing you just said is... It's disturbing. It's disturbing, but <laughs> it happens, you know. So, uh, Peter asked the question, he asked a series of questions. He said, A, when does this vice, I will call it vice, when does that, this habit start? And uh, Chris, I think, has given us one of the areas where it starts. The, the man wants, uh, and, and you see, we have promoted milk as a healthy drink. As a healthy drink. <laughs> Most people who know that milk is the best food you can ever have. Mm -hmm. So I can't believe this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. 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 yes, This is a fact. It's a biological so fact. So you don't have enough money. The budget is low. <laughs> so, so you use the natural one so, that's so, available, so but it's warm and hot. Why, yeah. Once people, people have known that milk is the best, uh, like the little reading around I, I, I undertook before I, we came on this show, was that. Commonly, people know that milk is a source of energy. So, men who do gymming, and who protein. do who do hard work, you know, who do lifting, they said they reported saying they felt better after, after drinking milk. After drinking the milk, mm -hmm. okay, breast milk, breast milk. And in fact, in one of the countries in Asia, I'm not going to mention this country because it is all powerful <laughs> and it is a friend of many. 
there is so that would be China. It's China. No, Why no, are you no, no, scared no. of mentioning China? China is one of them, but one of the countries in, in, in Asia, there is, it's not that the government promotes it, it's an underground business, okay? An underground business where these guys collect the milk. From, I've heard about from, that. Yes, yeah. from, from women. Women and, sell it. They and they sell, they it, sell yeah. this milk. And my friend, people pay up $1,500 every month to be members to this underground association. So this is serious business. Very, very serious. There are some who have farms where they keep women who actually give milk. But but yeah. the breast milk is sold to breastfeeding mothers, mothers no. that don't. No, sold men, to men, men are to buying. Men. Yes, and these yes. are not. They are, these are guys who pay top dollar yes. for that. Yes. They are buying. So 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 guys, I just want to let you know that what you've just done on national TV is to start Promote. an official business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some, oh, somewhere in, in, uh, somewhere in, in Uganda, Uganda. Yeah. by somewhere sharing that unhelpful <laughs> story <laughs> no, of but some Asian it's, country it's, we do not know about. It's the reality. Why don't you say it? What country is it? <laughs> I, no, I, I, I not mention your friend. No, 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 but but guys, on a serious I matter, I I, 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 I'm think, I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, we also have have heard of countries where they eat snakes and others where they eat no, babies no, heads no, no. and things like that. Uh, it doesn't make them right. There's nothing wrong with you see what I mean? snake. And that's what we are discussing. Snake, but is there something wrong about eating a fetus, right? Okay, yes. Yes. And then, okay. And, and yet it happens in some Asian countries. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so should, we, should we say it's okay because it's being done at a large scale and actually even in those cases it's women who sell their fetus? But you know, they, but, they, you they know Chris, but you know, what Chris. I'm saying is, what I'm saying, mm. this man is running with this thing in a different direction. Uh, no, it's it's the right direction. I'm just trying to 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 come to bring you to real, the reality that a vice is a vice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whether it's done at a large scale, you know, the silly thing about democracy, for example, is if if the whole crowd is dumb, ah, uh, it it doesn't make it right. But but if but, but the, Chris, if, if, if on your are, argument, are, are practicing uh, if people are practicing uh, mob justice, it doesn't make mob justice right, right because the majority have decided to kill this one person, mm -hmm. right? In the same way, it doesn't matter how many people are doing something wrong; it doesn't make it right. Mm -hmm. So that Asian country story should just be kicked out of our show. But but but, 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 but the Chris, problem. we have kids. <laughs> who are being malnourished because they are men so like but Peter Chris, who are let, let me this let, let, let me and are now breastfeeding no no listen <laughs> no Peter that, Chris. your cheeks are different from that <laughs> show <laughs> they are healthy oh, yes. but, but, listen, <laughs> but on the point, flip side <laughs> on the flip side when you look at it then in the, uh, from his story there are no kids involved there are no kids involved. They are, they are selling breast no, no, milk. No, 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 he's saying that by, the time, I, by the time a woman starts lactating, there's a child involved. You Women don't it? just lactate for the heck of yes, it. It's biological. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now guys, so unfortunately we've reached that point in the show when we do have to wrap up. So we'll start with your parting shots. My parting shot. Yeah. Different monkeys have different rules. Uh, uh, you know, what is accepted in where you come from, well and good. But my only problem with this, uh, with the, uh, you know, men, grown, full men, competing with children, that, that's the problem I have, you know, uh, full grown men competing with kids for breast milk. What if they were competed against? It, it never makes it right. You know, some of our cultures, like he said, you know, we, we may be practicing some of his cultures, but you know, they're not right. It doesn't make them right. I think it's stupid, I said it before, it's stupid for a grown man to compete with a baby for breast milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great stuff. Banji, your parting shot <coughs> about these men who are breastfeeding. Yes, I, I think leaders, in particular our president, is, is, has told us and reminded us time and again that he has fought many wars. <laughs> but I think this is one war where he needs to bring his AK-47 <laughs> and start shooting. Because he is going to have a very big problem of mal malnourished children. And that will be a lost generation. So, one is that uh, medical experts, uh, social scientists have said, at least in the Ugandan context, have said it's wrong. So it's something that we need to fight. Now that we know that this problem exists, 
and is growing yeah, and is growing then it is time for all kinds of people to be evolved and fight this habit because in this country there are very many cultural pra practices that we have discussed and we have agreed that they are not positive so we need to educate people to do away with these practices and in my own humble opinion it's this is one of them okay and for the men out there please let your children breastfeed leave the milk to them and to the ladies if the man is really demanding for the breast milk please tell the man that it is not his food okay and then if he insists well seek seek advice From seek the help. police hmm. <laughs> I, I think I think for me I, I want to first of all acknowledge that uh, like Banji said earlier in the show uh, the breast is uh, an instrument of pleasure um, between a man and a woman and we are not infringing on your rights you know we we can't be doing that as a couple you know that's your thing in your bedroom married people whatever now but listen this breast milk thing think about the next generation think about the zero to two window think about the fact as a guy that when you are suckling that breast milk you are condemning your offspring to being permanently daft for all their life malnutrition for zero to two years is a very serious thing so every time you're thinking of suckling that breast milk think about how dumb your kid will be and please do not say Obsiruwa Mama because that is Obsiruwa Chitawe who took the milk. <laughs> wow, very strong wow. words. Now, you heard it from the men. We have been talking about men who breastfeed. Mine is very simple. I believe biologically there's a reason why we are weaned off milk. So let's just stay there. And with those few words, as we always say, have a good night, take good care of yourselves and God bless.